What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be unboxing these brand new WWE action figures. Well, I guess you can call them brand new, especially two of them. But these, these two Aiden Englishes aren't that brand new. I actually found these at Walmart, so I don't know. I guess you could call them brand new. I mean, they are Elite Series 65. We're on Elite Series 67 and 68, so I guess you could call it brand new. Not really. I, I, I don't know. I think Elite Series 67 is brand new. This is more of, you know, this is, this is just new. It's a, That's my phone alarm to wake up in the wee hours of the morning. But here we have these two Aiden English figures, and to be honest with you guys, this makes uh, my fourth Aiden English Elite. Once we take these out of the packaging, I will have four total Aiden Englishes, which is really stupid, but I like Aiden English a lot. Maybe I can make one of them into a commentary version, because if you guys didn't know, he's actually a commentator on 205 Live now, which is, I don't know, man, I think that uh, it's, it's kind of disappointing. I don't think that he's injured or anything. I don't think it's a Jason Jordan type situation or anything like that. I think they just got sick of him and he was just like, well, if you're not going to use me, let me show you my commentator talent. And he went over there and he just commentates now, which which is pretty good. I think he's pretty solid at it. I mean, I think he'd be a lot better if they didn't script every diggum thing he said. But anyways, we got these two Aiden English figures, like I said. This will make four. I'll have three official ones and then our, our custom that we use. Then we have the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Hacksaw Jim Duggan figure. We're going to crack all of these figures out of the package and take a look at him. He gets some cool accessories. I like this line a lot. I think they do a really good job, Mattel does, with this line. I'm still waiting on that Mr. Perfect to release. We did pick up the Ric Flair, as you guys saw from Mattel. And then we have a figure that is absolutely fantastic. We have the Elite Series. I think it's 66, right? I think this is Elite 66. Target exclusive Alexander Wolf. Yes, the we finally get to complete our sanity here today. We're going to actually take a look at all four of them together. And it's pretty cool that we finally get all of them. And all of these figures, all four of these guys, were sent to us by our good old friends over at Mattel. Guys, thank you so very much to Mattel for sending us these figures. I think they are absolutely fantastic. I love them so much. I can't wait to crack them out of their packaging. And I know that this Alexander Wolf is going to be very hard to track down. So thank you so much to Mattel and the WWE Elite Squad for making this unboxing possible with sending us these epic figures. And I cannot wait to get into them. So not only are we going to have Eric Young, Nikki Cross and Killian Dane, but we're going to add Alexander Wolf. And I don't know, I, I don't know about you guys, but if you guys have these three figures, especially Killian Dane, he feels so good in the hand. Like I love to like post him around and stuff. I need to like switch out his knee pads with smaller ones just so he can bend his knees a little bit more. But I think that this Killian Dane figure is really underrated. I think that if, if he's definitely probably the weakest figure in that set of NXT figures, but he's a really good figure nonetheless. So I think that's pretty cool. I could not find Nikki Cross's face mask or her, her hood. I don't even remember if she came with one, so that is kind of disappointing, but nonetheless, we're going to take a look at all of our sanity together, and we're going to unbox all four of these figures, guys. So I guess we can start off with Alexander Wolf, and we'll take a look at sanity all together, and then we'll move on to the rest of the figures. We'll look at Rusev Day and the differences in the, the variants and all that BS, but let's go ahead and get into this unboxing, and you know the only way to get into the unboxing is with the good old trusty knife. And to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of upset with the trusty knife today because the last time I used the trusty knife, I sliced my finger open. And then when I was showing you guys the Royal Rumble box from yesterday, if you guys didn't see that video, definitely go check that out. It cut me open and I was bleeding all over camera. I think it may have been the first time I've ever bled on camera, but today we're going to be unboxing this Alexander Wolf figure. And here we go, trusty knife baby. Let's get it, cutting off the seam and sliding it open. taking Alexander Wolf out. We get extra hands. We get the open hand with tape. We get the other open hand with tape. We get the face mask up here. And one thing that I will say is I used to think that Alexander Wolf would never amount to anything, guys. I used to think that this guy was just absolutely terrible. I thought that he was just going to be wasted talent. I was like, this guy's just a piece of trash. Like, there's no way he'll ever be anything on the main roster. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of still right because on the main roster he hasn't done absolutely anything. Just just keeps taking L's like all of Sanity does. But I remember gaining a lot of respect for him once we uh, witnessed him in NXT take over War Games that one year. You, remember, you guys remember that where he went through the table? I think he cracked his head open. His freaking skull was bleeding all over the place. I was like, oh dude, this guy can 
go. And like he, he proved his worth in that matchup. So we got Alexander Wolf here. We're going to take off the hoodie. I mean, this these jackets, man, they are just awful. So here he is without his uh, jacket. And this is kind of weird. It's like a little bandana slash like do-rag type deal. And it, it's stuck up in there. So that's part of the mold. You got some pretty good stuff going on with this jacket. You got all the arrows and stuff that Sanity wears. You, of course, have his little face mask here. It's more of like a, like, it's like spades from, from like a deck of cards is more of what I'm getting right here. You got his little straps or vest type deal that he wears right here, and this does unbuckle. It's sort of like a, a mixture of D'Lo Brown and the shield. I don't really know what to say about it. So you got this little piece here that straps on. So he gets a pretty good number of accessories and the head sculpt's pretty good. I think it looks like Alexander Wolf. I think he used to job to No Way Jose on NXT television. Uh, am, I, am I crazy or do I remember that? If you guys are wondering, he does not have ball joints on his hips, so that's kind of unfortunate, but this figure looks pretty sweet, and I don't know how tall he is, but this figure's pretty freaking tall, guys, and he comes with some pretty cool molds. We get some brand new boots in here, some cool knee pads, really cool colors going on on the pants. You get all this white stuff going on. He looks like the Hardy Boys with the white stitching on all of his stuff. Really detailed figure, man. I think this is a really solid figure. I don't know how well this is or how hard this is going to be to track down. Really cool hair sculpt on that thing, too. I love the way they did that, and they painted it on there. Really sweet stuff, man. Alexander Wolf looking good. So most of Sanity is pretty fun to pose around, man. I, I play around with my Killian Dane and my, my Eric Young all the time, just, you know, posing it around. And I think Alexander Wolf is going to go into that same category. Let's go ahead and set them all up here. So we have Alexander Wolf. We have Eric Young right here. We have Nikki Cross, and then we have to finish it off with the big man, Killian Dane. So there, okay, gotta, gotta pull his face mask down there. So there it is, the, the full sanity. Would you look at that? Even though they are complete jobbers, they haven't done anything worth mentioning on WWE television. They lost their debut match. They've continued to lose number one contenders matches. Nikki Cross isn't even with them anymore, for real. And it's just sad to see, man. They had so much potential. I mean, they, they, why do they do it, man? They do it to everybody from NXT. AOP, American Alpha, The Revival, Sanity. If you're a tag team in NXT, don't come up to the main roster unless you just want to ruin your effing career. So that's enough for Sanity because that, we're, we're going to treat them like WWE. We're going to put them on TV for a second and then never return again. So moving all that BS out of the way, putting the boxes back here. Now let's go ahead and get into Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I honestly hate these boxes, like unboxing them. Like they look good in the packaging, but unboxing them is absolutely terrible. There's so much tape and bull crap everywhere. Like you got to cut it for like 62 minutes. So here's Hexall Jim Duggan out of the packaging, guys, and I honestly don't know what they were doing with this head sculpt. I mean, I see what they were going for. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, it's, I don't know, man. It's just weird, but we do get this cloth t-shirt. Pretty cool. Probably going to go in the crowd, to be honest with you, and this is a singlet look for Hexall Jim Duggan. We've seen his elite in the past. I think it was the Legend series. We got him in the trunks with the shirtless look. I think this is a pretty good mold. I honestly can't remember if we've seen this before. Maybe Jim the Anvil Neidhart or possibly somebody like that. Maybe you could make a different guy with this. I really don't know who you could make. If anybody has an idea of who you could make with this body mold down in the comment section below, I'd love to hear it. On the legs, you do not get ball joints. So no ball joints on this guy either. So you couldn't add tights or something to him if you wanted to. Or is it the, is it the, this is the Alexander Wolf mold. Would you look at that right there? Same exact torso mold. I mean, they're obviously painted differently, but I think this may be the same exact body mold, except this guy has different legs. So that's pretty interesting going forward. He's get he got He's got bare arms, like the Second Amendment. You got the right to bare arms. And that's a pretty solid figure. I like the way it looks, you know, with all the stuff on there. You got the U.S. boots on there. Got the cool knee pads. We got the King of the Ring hat right there. Very nice. Going on my Jimmy King custom whenever I can finish that thing. The hat doesn't even fit the head, or does it? I don't... I, no, it, it doesn't. Here's the t-shirt. You get the blue sleeves on there. White t-shirt. All the good stuff. Again, probably gonna go on a crowd member. You get the 2x4, the signature 2x4 that goes on to Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and it's pretty nice. I like this. I'm not a big fan of the color. It kind of looks cartoony and plasticky, but you know it is what it is. And then, of course, we get the good old beauty, the American flag. So that's pretty good stuff. 
I, I like this Hacksaw Jim Duggan figure. I, I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt, but at the same time, I like the figure a lot. This is the, the only Hacksaw Jim Duggan that I have in my collection, so I'm, I'm all four new figures. Thank you, Mattel. Now we're going to move on to the Aiden English figures, guys, and I guess I'm just going to unbox them both together, and uh, we'll take a look at them. No need to, you know, unbox them one at a time. Let's go ahead and take them both out of the packaging. So here we have both Elite Series 65 Aiden Englishes out of the packaging. We have the Chase variant and then the regular version. The regular version, of course, just having all black tights, and then the Chase version having, like, the little painting on the side of the tights, and I like the painting on the side of the tights. I like the, you know, the design better. It's it's pretty cool. I hate that, you know, the Chase variant isn't very much different. You know, I thought that, you know, when we set the standard with the, you know, the Chase figure of the Kurt Hawkins and then the Chase figure of the Shelton Benjamin, I thought that was a lot better because, you know, we had two different, like, eras of Shelton Benjamin, and then for Kurt Hawkins, we had, you know, they were the same era, per se, but they, they were completely different attires. Like, these are pretty much the same. I mean, you just have this random pattern on there. I like that on Kurt Hawkins, you had the completely different color. You had, like, black as the main color instead of blue, and I don't know. I, maybe I'm nitpicking, but I do like the Aiden English figure. I do think that they should have went with the Seamus torso instead of the Daniel Bryan torso. I think the fix-up custom that I made on action figure surgery a while back, the one that I use on Vindication to this day is a lot better than the regular Elite. We put the head and arms on there, and then I think we even switched the boots, and it's just a really strong figure, man. I love the way that came out with everything. All the accessories on that guy makes it look even better, and here's Aiden English, man. Really happy to add the Chase variant to my collection. Thank you so much to Mattel for all of these figures, and I guess now we can round everything up and take a look at everything all together. So here is everything that we got here today from Mattel, guys. Again, a huge thank you to them for making this unboxing video possible for the Hacksaw Jim Duggan Retro Fest GameStop exclusive, the Elite Series 65 Aiden English Chase variant and the regular version, the Target exclusive Elite Series 66 Alexander Wolf, and then of course uh, we have our Sanity Complete now. We have really cool custom figures. We got a lot of accessories to go through, and I'm super duper excited for all of these figures. Will we see Sanity in the pick fed in the future? Will we see Hacksaw Jim Duggan in the pick fed? Probably not. Let's be real. I think that Sanity probably has the highest percentage of being seen in the pick fed. We already see Aiden English on Vindication every single episode, so that is pretty cool to see that. But Sanity will they make their debut who knows don't know what's in the writing for them we'll have to check with brad and everything going over there on vindication but thank you guys so very much for watching huge shout out to mattel again guys go check your game stops for hacksaw your walmart slash targets for aiden your targets for alexander wolf and then the rest of sanity you know you got elite series 65 eric young which you can find at retail elite series 66 nikki cross which i don't think is hit retail just yet and then we have killian dane the target exclusive nxt figure which is being found all over the country now so Definitely go check your retails, guys. Go in your toy hunts and everything. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.